Affinity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 1 Shapes Part 1 How to 1. Add and adjust the size of your shape 2. Flip shapes horizontally and vertically 3. Rotate shapes and change rotation origin 4. Change the colour of the shape and border 5. Move a shape to the front layer and back 6. Grouping shapes and joining shapes well, this is Town here, Town is Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Turnley PNGs. I'm going to start you off with the finished designer for a beginner's tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use shapes in a finished designer and manipulate them and transform them um, for this tutorial at the moment. Okay, started off on the splash screen and I'm going to click on new document. Then we're going to go to A4 which is right there in the middle. And we're going to go over to the right hand side and get to where it says orientation there look and you've got landscape and portrait uh, orientation and you've got create artboard which we're not going to bother with the create artboard we're going to go to the landscape and we're just going to create it okay now you've got the whiteboard up and i'm just going to show you over the left hand side here you've got the toolbar right and at the top you've got the move tool which is extremely important for you to move anything on the whiteboard right it's, it's only like a piece of paper really i fall but i'll call it the whiteboard for this tutorial right and here down below all these other tools you've got the shapes you've got three default shapes you've got a rectangular tool which i just clicked on and click on the whiteboard and drag across to get the rectangle up you've got a circle which is also a default and a rectangular rounded rectangular tool which is also a default then you've got another tool here which is not defaulted but it can be changed to different tools because the little triangle white triangle there that shows you that you can click on it and you get other tools there so you can click any of them and one of them will replace that one to whichever one you clicked on right, and you can use that tool then and put that on right well let's get on with the rectangular and rectangular tool first and let me show you what what you do with this with the rectangular tool you've got all these handles on around it on the edges and on the corners right now with the ones on the edges you can with the bottom one you can take it down or up and with the one on the left or right you can stretch it along that way with these ones on the corners they are very manipulative you can manipulate them whichever way you want really to a certain degree right what you got to remember though is if you say you get the top one and you try taking it down you can flip it the actual image upside down like that or if you go from left to right really far enough it'll flip it over that way and vice versa right remember that as well as that you've got a rotation tool up here this circular piece is a rotation tool and it rotates around the origin wherever the origin is initially the origin will be smack bang in the middle of the actual um, shape you've got right but if you want to change the origin you click on this circular thing here and you can change where the origin is so it'll rotate around that area instead i'll show you that out there you go rotating around there okay you don't have to have it on the shape either you can actually take it out of the shape and it'll rotate around that area so it's going to rotate around here i'll show you there you go it's rotating around there okay all right so that's that let's put that back all right so that's rotation next what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the move tool again and then i'm going to make it like that now what i want to do is i'm going to flip it 90 degrees using these tools here there's two tools here uh anti-clockwise like that and anti-clockwise again and anti-clockwise again all right and then clockwise you can do it that way right you can do that if you want to if you want to do something else let's uh, let's just add another tool first let's add, uh, add the circular tool onto there 
just put it with it like that now i'm going to select both of them just for this moment because i want to show you something right now if you want to flip it horizontally you click on this one and there you go it's flipped horizontally right now i'm going to turn it around a little bit like that i'm going to flip it vertically in a minute all right so you can do that flip it vertically like that right you've also got the options to the things here so you know if there's there's certain options you can use on right clicking so you can right click rotate left and that rotates a whole thing left rotate right okay you can do that which will rotate everything <laughs> um you can reset rotation as well so that's fine um and you can arrange one of the things on top of another so let's just get the color first so i can show you what's going on right that's in red and i'll change that to blue right so if you see, saw what i did then all i did was click onto the what's it and change the colors like that on the color circle now what happened there was basically the fill which is this circle here was clicked so i can change it to pink now and the, the rectangle because that's selected will change to pink yeah now if i change if I click on the circle and change that to blue by clicking on that the fill will change to blue right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the from color to stroke and i'm going to up the stroke so as you can see the circles get in a line around it which is what it what it has the the rectangle has a line as well as you say you can see that yeah right now every shape will have a line around it unless you take it off right what you can do is if you wanted to change the colors of any of those lines you just click on that black circle and then you can change the color so that's green now now if you wanted to do the circle to pink maybe like that, or red or yellow you know but you've got to have it you've got to have that circle selected in order to do that right now say you wanted the circle to be yellow with the blue outline now you've got a little arrow thing there if you click on that it'll swap them over like that yeah so you can do that say if you wanted to make a a light switch going on and off or something you can do that can you right or a flashing light or whatever so say if you was doing animations for example right uh, as well as that you can also change the opacity of one of them so what i'm going to do is change the opacity of the blue by i've selected it first and now the opacity goes to about 50 percent and that should be see-throughable so you can i don't know it ain't done it why not oh duh i picked the wrong one the outside i've just changed the opacity of the outside that's what i've done so what i'm going to do is click on the solid bait and i'm just going to change the opacity of that to 50. now you should be able to see the pink through there and the rectangle as you can see so you could use that like as if it was glasses or a mirror or something or a window sorry or something like that couldn't you so you could use that as a window now like that because it's got an opacity of 50 percent if it went down to say nothing it'll be just like a frame right so it's just like a frame you could put a picture in it or anything um you can take that back up to 100 percent now there is another way to get rid of the fill uh, just by doing this white circle here with the red line through it that gets rid of whatever the color is from that part like that so it does the same as the full up full fully zero opacity it's the same thing as that right so we don't want that anyway but we're just showing you it anyway next thing right um say you wanted these two things like the circle underneath the rectangle you can click arrange move to back or move back one so you can do either of those right or you can use this up here you've got these shapes up here the, the ones to move back is uh, 
balcony now because it's at the back anyway but being as it's selected you can click this one to move forward one or move to the front like that or you can move it to back like that right so you know stuff like that well so if you've got several different items you, and you want it moved to the right at the back you can do it or you might want to move one forward but not too many forward yeah you can do it that way instead of just right clicking i always use the right clicking now but you know it's going to what you want yourself really um as well as that um you can also add things together like say you want it like that because that's a wheel or something and um, you can group them together by clicking uh, selecting them all and click group then you can move them around together like that right hey if however right say you wanted to do um just deal with one part so you've made a mistake on one thing you click on the item you can deal with that item and do whatever you've got to do say put your spouts in or whatever then put it back make sure you click on the group and then you can move it back together if you don't click on the group and still got that obviously it's just going to move that right um as well as that say if you've got items which you want to add together so you want to stick them together without being grouping them you just ungroup that in a minute i'm just going to show you to ungroup it you just right click it and ungroup it like that and you can, you can right click it and group it there as well and ungroup ungroup all so if you've got loads of things grouped together you ungroup all you might have to play about with it sometimes because sometimes it plays up let's select them all now there's this stuff here which is like it's got add subtract intersect x or and divide right now i'm going to show you how these work these are very useful <coughs> excuse me the only trouble is whatever's on the bottom the top one will change that color right look i'll show you <coughs> i've done it the wrong way around don't i i think okay wait a minute yeah the top one changed to the color of the pink right so because because the rectangles on the bottom layer the circle will change to pink now if the circle was on the bottom layer so we'll just change that arrange it the other way around move to back did i do that no, i didn't do it I've, I've got them all selected that's why uh move to back now hopefully if i select them all and try that they should all change to blue like that right now let's just undo that this is how you undo it uh -uh. you can undo it that way or if you've got a problem you want to delete it and start again you can edit click delete if you want to right now say if you it didn't it didn't matter about the color so you put them together there you go fine right so it but it depends on which colors underneath the color underneath uh defines the color okay right now say you want this one subtract so what does subtract do it subtracts one from the other um i think it's going to subtract the rectangle from the circle so you'll just have a half circle there what i'm going to do though i'll just change that a minute let's let's do it round a different way so i want the rectangle in another way so i'll do that and push it up a bit like that right now that should go that shape right hopefully if i do that right so i need to select them all and subtract the rectangle from the circle there you go right and undo that now if the rectangle was underneath you subtract the circle so you just take that bit off and you just have that rectangle with that there shall i show you that yes i will right let's do that then so let's take the rectangle to the back move back now select all of those and do that and there you go like i said right now undo that again the next one we've got is intersect so whatever's intersecting which will be this piece here from there without that bit 
will be shown everything else will go disappear right so let's show you that yep uh, that's what happens with that and the other the opposite of that is this okay oh uh, and then we undo that and as you notice when it done that it changed to the bottom color which is the rectangle and then you've got this one which is divide which means divides whatever's intersecting and everything else into separate pieces right i'll show you that now right now this is very good for if you wanted to do um, something like um, a jigsaw puzzle to make a jigsaw puzzle with it so that's what happens right so you got that now i'm just gonna um undo all that undo 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 it takes a lot of doing to undo this lot okay and then undo divide and that's it we're back to square one where we was right so you got that so i've done a lot of things there for you um i haven't reached the point where i've finished yet so i'll give it a few more minutes i want to show you two other things if you get to a rounded rectangle let's do that first uh, as you can see there's a little red dot there what that does is that defines the amount of roundness of the corners on the round rectangle so when you do that you can move that up and down like that right using the cursor and up and down there like that. okay so you can make it a square if you want to and just make it more rounded or less rounded according to what you want next we get another shape like the star shape that's here at the moment that's pretty good for showing you how to do things let's just get some of this stuff off let's just do up here a sec i'm just going to delete all those delete like that now put the square in the middle i mean the star in the middle sorry uh, as you can see you can't see the uh you can't see the the, the the spots on it the red spots so you have to click on the actual shape to regain the spots on them like that so now this one makes a rounded points on the outside right so it's rounded the points on the outside this one moves the in in, in parts in like that. the middle these mid mid parts in that one moves them mid parts in there and this one rounds them off the in parts as you can see they're rounded there yeah so you can make a multitude of different shapes with that and, like that. and then if you go wee like that so you've got a nice shape there haven't you so that's quite useful too um so there's a lot of different things for you to think about anyway uh hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and hope you'll be ready to watch my next tutorial which will be next week hopefully uh, and i hope you'd like to, to uh, subscribe to my channel tony's music thank you very much for watching and have a good day thank you